Hello, my name is John Rose, and in this video I'd like to take a closer look at why some people think some of my videos are too complicated, especially the ultimate solution 11 part playlist. Now there's a good reason why a lot of people are going to think that's too complicated. That's because nine of those 11 parts have to deal with a special teaching tool I created where I've identified 281 of the most important pieces. And I explain all of those pieces. And I realize only a very small group of y'all want to look at every piece of the puzzle. Well, I wanted to satisfy those people. I want, remember, I always want to please everybody. So there's all the details for those. Now I realize a lot of y'all don't want to hear, need, you don't want to hear all those details. You don't want to, to go that far and study that much. And guess what? You don't have to. And I've said this over and over in many of my other videos. And I'll repeat it again is that if you want to make this simple, just test an idea as time has come, there's only one piece to this puzzle we have to worry about. That's 54.5, that's where we're willing to, to apply what we know, or in this case, even if we don't know it or believe it, or I should say, willing to apply what we believe. <laughs> uh, but you don't have to believe what I'm talking about to test it. That's what, that was an epiphany for me, where I realized, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ca start calling piece 54.5, oh my God, where's that piece number at, who cares? Just test an idea as time has come. So. <clears throat> We don't have to believe what I say to prove it to ourselves. All you have to do is go down below into the description box below and look for the first step of my three-step process. And to pump you up, watch the Deborah Duncan show and listen to the Dr. Roba interview. And you can make this real simple. But for some of y'all, you're gonna have questions like, well, where do addictions come into play? Where, do, where does denial come into play? Well, I've identified all those pieces and I assigned them in different boxes and different portals. Now. Uh, one of the big reasons why this seems so complicated for a lot of people, and I have no idea when you make these comments if this is the first time you watch my video, so be more explicit when you make a comment. This is my first video, so it's too complicated. Or I've seen 10 videos and it's still too complicated. Or, but I haven't watched the Ultimate Schematic yet. So if you don't want, if you want to get a good general overview of my special teaching tool without watching nine of those 11 parts, just go to the Ultimate Schematic. Uh, my very first video I did, it was only about 20 minutes long. I never intended it to, to ever use it, but it worked okay, and I'm gonna update that one more time and show my, mod, my more updated version where you can see the piece number is better and the box is better. I, I worked on that several months ago and I still haven't uploaded, that, uploaded it yet, but I'll be doing that pretty soon too. But one of the big reasons why this is so complicated, everybody, because I always teach the same way, and it has to do with three stages of knowledge, or three stages of knowledge, and we're not taught that. On purpose, we look at cause and effect, and if we look at knowledge, we only look at the plus A box of knowledge. We don't realize that false knowledge is the number one reason why we can't find that knowledge. So we're not given a complete picture. So I've actually made things extremely simple. I've given you a map, a schematic, where I've identified all the major pieces, and you can see how they logically connect to all the other pieces. So you, you need to understand the three stages of knowledge, and I explain that in many of my videos. And I just, but you can go to the Ultimate Schematic, watch that 20 minute video and I explain the three stages and, and I give you a, a, a quick overview of where all those pieces are <clears throat> and how they connect. If you want to know those, if you want that information. Again, if you don't, just test an idea as time has come. But otherwise, what you can do is, is, is we have to understand these three stages whenever we talk about anything. So when I coach you, when I'm teaching you guys, when I explain things, I always say the first stage of knowledge, the second stage of knowledge, the third stage of knowledge. And it's simple, A, B, C, one, two, three. This isn't complicated. And to illustrate my point, imagine if I was to give you guys driving directions, detailed driving directions from my home in Houston, Texas, up to someone else's home in Boston, Massachusetts, wherever. Now, if I was to do a little short video on that, and I gave you detailed directions on where to turn and all that kind of stuff, and at the end of that, if you didn't take notes, and if you didn't have a map, it'd be complicated, wouldn't it? Well, are you guys taking notes? I know I'm throwing a lot of new information out there that you've never seen before, because it isn't, no one else is saying it, it came out of my brain. It's, it's, it's what I created to explain everything logically. It didn't exist, I created it. My special teaching tool is gonna revolutionize the way we learn everything, so it behooves every one of us to learn these three stages of knowledge because they haven't taught that to us, so they can trick us and fool us. And this is why there's so much confusion over people debating different topics. 
because they don't understand there are those three stages on the right path and three stages on the wrong path. And, and two people can be arguing, <clears throat> and one person might have the first two stages, or first two pieces to this puzzle, and not the third. And the other one has the third, but not the other two. And they're sitting there both arguing with each other, saying, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong, when they're both wrong. They're both on the same path, they just don't have the complete picture. And then you got people that are on the wrong path. They're not even up where they need to be. So, you know, it's one thing if you're up here in the plus A box of knowledge and someone's down here in the negative A box of false knowledge, but what if over here in the negative C box of, 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 uh, of problems? You know, you see, this is why it's important to understand where everything is. And in the beginning, of course, this is going to be complicated. You're learning something new. Imagine this. Imagine going to college, taking a course, they give you a book, or you have to go buy that book, and they say, okay, we're going to spend this semester and we're going to spend, I don't know, 50 hours studying this book. Now, imagine if you <clears throat> were to go up to them and say, look, man, I just don't have the time to do that. Could you make me a 20-minute video? And wait a minute, 20 minutes is too fucking long, man. Can you make it just two or three minutes? <laughs> That's what you guys are asking me to do. You don't understand how profound my knowledge is and how I can condense it into a one little sentence, although I have dozens of files, dozens of them, for the sole intention for one sentence, and they're 100 pages long. That's how hard I work to try to make things so simple and have them connect to one another. So when you read one sentence and you don't understand it, realize I may have a 100-page file that condensed that down, because so, what I try to do is I try to say in one sentence that takes everyone else a whole chapter. So a lot of, this is one reason why a lot of what I say seems complicated because it's extremely profound. And if you don't understand the significance of it, you're not as apt to take notes and learn it. So what do you do? Test an idea as time has come so you can understand why this is so important and why you got to put a little bit of time into this to figure it out so you can be part of the solution. And we all are part of the solution. We all play a role when it comes to solving these problems that are within our control. And the biggest problem we have is the collective. Collectively, we're, we're ignorant and we're disconnected. And, and as long as the masses are disconnected, we will continue to go toward the same direction we're going, which is not a very good direction. We're on the verge of being extinct if we keep doing this. And we could change everything around so fast, it's mind-boggling if we can just get enough people to test an idea as time has come. And again, if you're the type of person who, who's not convinced, well, take a look at the ultimate schematic and you see where all the pieces are. And what I do with this is I show the logical flaws or the invalid structures in the systems that are in charge. You see, that's the main purpose of my special teaching tool. Because we, if we want to use logic to solve our problems, so if it's too complicated, is logic too complicated? Well, the way they teach it, it is. But actually, if we use logic, it's very simple. There's only two tests, two tests that we have to take in order to prove that logic works. There are two criteria that are needed for logic. One has to do with what they call the structure, and the other is the contents, or the specifics, or the details. So those are the two tests. Now, if we want to understand these two tests or these two criteria for logic, one is like a train and the other is the tracks. So the train is on the tracks and the tracks are always one dimensional or one direction. Always, always the sequential ordered pairs. That's my special teaching tool. It uses two sequential ordered pairs. It uses two sequential quadrant systems. It makes a six box system. It's sequential. Why? Because one of the tests we take is sequential. It's one direction. It's an ordered pair. One comes before the other. The sequence cannot be reversed. This is how you can use my tool to make things simple. So people say it's too complicated. No, it's not. The way things are now are too complicated. We're down. We're going down rabbit holes we don't need to go down. So what we want to do is what Sherlock Holmes would do. Exclude the impossible. So what we do, if there's two tests we have to pass, don't look for the logical fallacies in the, in the, in the structure or the contents. because uh, studying that train is too complicated. It's too hard to find a logical fallacy in it. Find a logical fallacy in medicine. I challenge you. Or build a one-way bridge from Florida to California. Find the logical fallacy in it. But let's do the other tests. They've got to pass both tests, don't you see? If they fail one test, they, it doesn't matter. 
and they fail the other test. They're building the damn bridge from California to Florida. You don't have to have any type of knowledge and intellect to be able to figure out the logical fallacies because you don't need to. Every seven-year-old child can see it's going the wrong direction. Which way are the train, the tracks going, my friend? Every system in charge is being controlled by, by magicians, psychopaths, con artists. They're just tricking us. It's a sleight of a hand. So in my special teaching tool, I explain the three stages of knowledge, cause and effect. They put our experts in between the cause and effect to, so the symptoms don't magically appear. You see? It's called monus ponens in Latin. In layman's terms, we're putting the cart before the horse. What does that mean? Well, horse, cart. In the old days, when the saying was used, now it's the other way around, the cart's pulling the horse. But you don't put the cart before the horse, you don't treat the effect for a cause or for a problem that's within our control. And that's what experts are doing. This isn't complicated, it's simple. The system is complicated. Naming all the symptoms is complicated. That's how they trick us and fool us. I make things simple. I use Sherlock Holmes' approach. Let's exclude the impossible. Well, if I can exclude allopathic medicine, then I can also throw all their bullshit theories away about the, the, the viruses and contagion and vaccines. It's all bullshit, damn it. That's complicated. You have to understand what I'm offering. War, crime, violence, heart disease, cancer, diabetes. There's a simple solution to all of these. These are 100% within control over here and limited control over here. If we change collectively, we won't have any more war and crime and violence. Don't you see what I'm saying? You're not going to spend a little bit of time and take some notes? Come on, man. If you're not doing that because you haven't tested an idea as time has come, you got to see what you're missing to be able to get excited about this. And then your brain is going to start working in a way that's going to make you want to figure things out. There's a reason why in biblical days you had to do a 40-day water fast before they even allow you to come into an institute of higher learning. Why? Because when you put food down here, it takes away blood from up here. Oh, breakfast the best meal of the day. <laughs> Can't think right without a breakfast in you. Bullshit. People who rule the world don't want us to think. That's why they dumb us down deliberately. Society attacks early, my friends, when the individual is helpless. We live in a crazy world where everything is complicated. Almost everything is a distraction. What I'm offering isn't complicated. I'm saying it's simple. Get reconnected. Yeah, I offer a lot of pieces. Well, you don't worry about them. Get reconnected. Test an idea. Time has come. Bump up those bio photons, my friend. And then you're going to realize, wow, that man was right. If I'm not getting reconnected, I'm getting distracted. Everything's complicated over here. This is simple, 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 simple. Well, uh, too, too many new things. Well, did you take notes? Are you going to be able to drive from my home to another person's home in Boston, Massachusetts, just by watching a video and not taking some notes? What if I didn't give you a map? I'm giving you a map, man. The ultimate schematic. It's my gift to humanity based on a gift that was given to me. I have the ability to make things that are complicated and things that are simple. I've reduced it down to three simple boxes. Three stages of knowledge. There's pluses and minuses in each one. And then the boxes logically connect to all the other boxes. There's 18 connections all together. 18 portals. I've identified 281 pieces. 69 are in the 18 portals. The 212 are in the six boxes. Those 212 tie back to 128 pieces. Those 128 pieces tie back to 25 pieces. Those 25 pieces tie back to five main categories where we have 14, 5, 3, 2, and 1. The first stage of knowledge, we have the first four categories, 24, 24. And then in the next two stages, we drop the three and the two and we kick in the one, which are things outside of control. So now we got 20, 20, 20, 20, 128. I added four pieces to that, the hide pieces. So that's 132. And then there are 60 pieces within pieces because there are 10 subsequent needs from being disconnected, piece 34. So there's 10 sub pieces there and they're all six boxes. There are 60 extra pieces. It isn't complicated, it's simple. And then when I identified the five big mistakes we're making, they were actually pieces 83.1 to 83.5. 83 is when we eat unnatural food. But I didn't want to list the most important pieces of the puzzle as a sub number, so I gave them whole numbers, pieces 95 to 99. So now there are 20 duplications because in addition to 95 to 99, I also have 83.1 to 83.5 and in those last four boxes over here. So there's another 20 pieces. That's as simple as it is. It's basically the same thing over and over and over. And in my video the other day, I said, life used to be simple. We didn't have six boxes and 18 portals and 281 pieces. We only had three boxes, four portals, 
Six portals, five portals? <laughs> well, two ways to look at it. Three boxes, four portals, 55 pieces, but then we can add two more boxes onto it and then two more portals. So we could have 57 pieces whenever we have an accident or act of nature. And we could have two more portals because we go from the negative B to the negative C. Piece 100 is accidents and acts of nature. That's what gets us 104. And then there's a doorway in between there. Remember, this is where they put our so-called experts. And now that's, where, that's when they need to put them there. When we have an 80, or a 100 rather, and that's an accident or act of nature, we get a 104. 100 are things that happen to us that are outside our control. And that's where, again, the accidents and acts of nature happen. And then we get a 104, a problem outside of control. That's the only thing allopathic medicine is good for, and that's why they want to be in between that that, that are in that doorway in between these two boxes, you see? We want to control the body so it doesn't bleed to death. That's the only thing allopathic medicine is good for. And this is how we're being tricked and fooled. Because the, the powers that be claim that these are the experts and they also get to take care of the 103s, which are problems that are within our control, that come from pieces 81 to 90, 99. And 83 to 74, are, are two groups of needs we must satisfy. If we don't satisfy, we come down there. But then remember, I identified the five big mistakes, 95 to 99, based on the five things we mastered. <laughs> Back up here, I gotta always reverse things. Five things we mastered, that's up at the plus A box of knowledge, you see? If we apply those to something we need, piece 24, food, we slide down and that's where we get the 81 to, to, to 94. Did I say 74 earlier? 81 to 94. And then 95 to 99 are 83.1 to, to 83.5. Too complicated. Well, you don't have to understand it, but I'm showing you how it all connects. And that's what ends up to, the thing is, is, is what we have to be aware of is where we're at. If we want to get back to paradise, we got to know where we are, how we got here, <clears throat> where we need to be, and how to go, and how to get back there. Well, we can't go back the same way we came. What happened is when we applied 36, fire to 24 food we slid down 109 go to my ultimate schematic and you see how you can see the map and that's where we get 95 that's the fall of mankind that's the action that's cooking our food 95 is cooking our food that's the fall of mankind people say oh the fall of mankind is up here somewhere no no man what did we do <clears throat> there's three stages of knowledge so you're going to talk about the fall of mankind you have to understand what stage of knowledge you're in so when people want to argue with me they're saying no it's up over here well come on man let's talk about all three stages you know, why did we do it? We don't know why <clears throat> we applied fire to our food. It could have been a catastrophe. We might have been out of necessity. We might have just been curious. Who knows why we did it? But nonetheless, we didn't apply what we knew. We didn't, we didn't go from the plus A box to the plus B box. We slid down 109, and now we, we're making a mistake. Two ways to make a mistake. We can apply false knowledge, which is what we're doing now. And that's where piece 46 is. See, 36 ties into 46. 46 is the... Uh, false belief that cooking is an art when it's really a sin, it's a mistake. And if we apply that knowledge, we get 95. That's what we're doing now. It's not how it happened. That's not how we got here. How we got here is for whatever reason we applied fire to our food and we came down and now we're, we're, we, we, we cook, we're cooking our food. And that's what gets us into the negative C box. So we need to know where we are. Where are we? We're down here in the negative C box of problems. Hundreds of thousands of problems that are in 103 that are within our control. This isn't complicated. It's complicated when you don't have the wisdom to know the difference between a 103 and 104. And we're tricked and fooled and told everything's a 104. And now we're going to name the 104s. No, they're 103s and you don't name the 103s. Unless they're life-threatening, you've got to deal with it. There's a time and a place to put the car before the horse. But in most cases, you want to go upstream we're downstream here with what we got. We gotta go upstream, look at what we're doing. Oh my God, we're cooking our food. And we're eating processed foods, and we're eating animals, and we're eating grains, and but chemicals galore. And then why are we doing that? Oh, false knowledge, it all starts with our traditions. So every piece logically connects. If it's complicated to begin, it's because there's a lot to the story. You wanna take a college course? Think about this. Go to college, imagine taking a college course that says, ultimate solution to solve every problem on the planet. Heart disease, cancer, diabetes, war, crime, violence. Oh my God, let me sign up. Are you going to study for that course? What if it's really true? I'm telling you it is. And it's going to take a little bit of work on your part to figure it out. 
And the best way to start, test an idea as time has come, because then your brain will think better and you'll appreciate this tool that I created for you guys so that I can explain things logically. And when we do this, what do we find by using this tool? They fail the first test. Monus ponens in Latin is putting the cart before the horse for a problem within our control. If the problem is within our control, you don't put blockers in between the negative B box of mistakes and the negative C box of problems. That's what our doctors are doing. That's what our so-called experts are doing. They're not letting the body communicate. Lifestyle choices, feedback system. They're not letting us get feedback. So, we have to take responsibility and look at what we're doing. We have to take responsibility and go upstream one more time and question our belief system. Question everything we've been told. Most of what we've been told are a bunch of lies about how to live, a bunch of lies of what happened last century in the wars. These are all lies that keep us where we are. So we don't want to be on this negative horizontal loop where we start our journey off in life with false knowledge and make mistakes and have problems. We need to make a vertical move, not a translative, a transformative move. Go through the first doorway. There's two doorways we have to go through. That's how simple it is. First doorway, there are obstacles in there. 19 main reasons why we don't know, we don't know, or why we can't find that knowledge. In a, uh, and that's where we have 12 sources of false knowledge and seven wellness factors. And then there are 21 pieces within those pieces, so there's actually 40 obstacles altogether if I identify all the pieces. Don't need to know any of those because if we just go up to the second doorway we need to go through, that's the plus A box uh, and the plus B box, there's another doorway we gotta go through and we have another uh, 13 obstacles. That really come from 10, then there's three pieces within pieces. But the only thing we need to worry about is piece 54.5. That's where we're willing to test an idea as time has come, you see. There are 55 total problems of knowledge. Two forms of ignorance, don't have the knowledge we need in the plus A box of knowledge, we have false knowledge in its place. And then there are 53 total other obstacles that are keeping us from finding and applying the knowledge we need. And I know that's complicated. I just said, look, if you want to figure out where this is at or that is at, I've identified it. And I I'm sure there's a few more pieces that we could throw in there also, but I think I've identified the most important pieces. And the whole point is, is we don't have to make it complicated. We can make it simple. I say it over and over and over and over and over. If you think it's complicated, just test an idea. It's time has come, man. What are you waiting for? It's time to get excited. It's time to rise above the ideas of the time. It's time to put a little effort into this once you understand what it's all about. And I guarantee you, my friends, when you do this, you're in for a treat.